Business owners, including doctors and dentists, have to deal with many different risks in the operations of their business. Whether it be market risk, interest rate risk, currency risk, security risk, there are many others that are simply inherent in the operations of a business. Well, do you take time to consider the risk of premature death, the risk of disability, or the risk of critical illness? Well, by the end of this video, I will provide you an overview of the financial tools that are available to address these particular risks, including life insurance, disability insurance, and critical illness insurance. My name is Rick Goldring of the Bay West Group. For the most insightful information on wealth and risk management strategies for business owners, including doctors and dentists, subscribe to my YouTube channel, as well as hitting the notifications bell to be notified of when we upload new videos. Life insurance is a tool that provides a tax-free benefit uh, in the event of death while the coverage is in place and the policy can be owned personally or corporately. There are two main types of life insurance. There is term insurance, which covers you for a specific period of time, and there's permanent insurance that covers you for all of your life. Term insurance comes typically in a form of either 10-year coverage or 20-year coverage that is renewable after the set period of time. Uh, if you're in your 30s or 40s, term insurance is very inexpensive because the chance of dying in the next 10, 10 or 20 years, if you're in those ages, is not great. In fact, if you're age 40 and you're a non-smoker and a male, uh, based on current rates, uh, and depending whether it's 10-year term or 20-year term, you can purchase a million dollars of life insurance, which isn't very much money anymore, but you can purchase a million dollars of life insurance uh, for the cost of anywhere from $600 to $1,000 per year. When I was younger in my 30s, I made sure that I had lots of term insurance because I wanted to make sure there was enough money there uh, to pay out a claim to cover off the mortgage and any debt as well as replace my income because I had three young children at that particular time. Permanent insurance is going to be more expensive than term insurance because it's enforced for the rest of your life. As long as you're paying premiums typically upon your death at, eight, at any age, at age 50, 70 or 90 or age 100, there will be a claim on your policy. Permanent insurance broadly falls into two different categories, whole life and universal life. Universal life provides insurance protection, but in addition to that, there is room inside the policy for you to contribute and invest in the different accounts that are inside the policy that allows your policy and the money inside your policy to grow tax-free. Participating whole life insurance does provide protection and the opportunity for dividends each and every year that the policy is in force for. So those dividends typically go to buy more insurance, also known as paid up insurance, and that insurance creates additional cash value to the policy because most whole life policies do have a cash value to them. And it's composed of a guaranteed cash value plus cash value created by the dividends. Now, I firmly believe that the vast majority of people uh, do not understand exactly how a participating whole life contract works. And I, I, I find it's misunderstood by many, many people. You know, life insurance or participating whole life insurance does pay out a benefit upon death, but it offers so much more. So in subsequent videos, I'm going to be, I'm going to be providing much more detail about participating whole life insurance. The most important asset we have to protect is our income. With disability insurance, if we get disabled, it does pay out a monthly benefit if we're unable to work because of accident or sickness. Typically, there's a waiting period of anywhere from 30 to 120 days. So if you want to wait 120 days to get income, if you're disabled, it's going to cost you less premium than if you wanted to have an income payable to you after 30 days. And there are many different riders and additions you can add to your policy. The, the disability insurance can cover you all the way to age 65 if you're unable to work for that period of time. When it comes time to paying out a life insurance claim, it's pretty simple. You die and the claim is paid. With disability insurance, it is not that simple. There's different companies with different contracts and different uh, definitions of disability. And it's important that you get the right contract with the right definition of disability. And that's understood clearly before you acquire disability insurance. There is much more to talk about with regard to disability insurance, and I will provide much more detail in a subsequent video. I must say though that I have had disability insurance for well over 30 years, and I take great comfort knowing that if I was disabled, if I am disabled, I will get paid 
a tax-free income each and every month as long as I'm able, unable to work all the way to age 65. The next major risk to address or to mitigate is the risk of critical illness. The risk of having a stroke or a heart attack or, or any form of life-threatening cancer. Uh, that may not cause a disability, but it can be life-altering. When my dad was uh, in his 50s and I was 10, he had a major heart attack and that was in the 1960s and he almost died. And that was a life-altering event to my family. Now, critical illness insurance would have made the world a difference in the 1960s to my dad, but it wasn't available then. It didn't come into Canada until the 1990s. Critical illness insurance works like this. You insure yourself for a set amount, and within 30 days of diagnosis, a lump sum is payable to you completely tax-free to use whatever purpose you want to use it for. The money can be used to cover off some some unexpected medical costs can provide you with money to pay off debt and can provide money for a vacation or to augment your income. You can use the money for whatever purpose you wish. There's a long list of over 20 critical illnesses that are covered with a critical illness insurance policy. The vast majority of claims, however, like 85% of the claims are for heart attack, stroke, and life-threatening cancer. The coverage can be purchased for a, a, a fixed term of 10 years and it can be renewable every 10 years, say all the way to age 75. You can have 20 year coverage. You can have term insurance that covers you to 65, covers to age 75, as well as coverage all the way to age 100. And there's other riders you can add on to the policy um, that I've done on my own policy. When, when I heard about this in the 1990s, because of my family situation, I made sure I bought a big chunk of it. And a big chunk of what I bought is has uh, provides me with coverage until age 75. And so between now and age 75, there'll be a if there's a claim, the policy will be null and void, but I'll get a lump sum. Uh, but if I don't claim on the policy and I'm still alive at age 75, there will be a refund of everything I paid into this particular policy completely tax-free. I will be providing much more detailed information about critical illness insurance on subsequent videos. If you would like to discuss if these particular forms of insurance make sense or fit into your overall financial plan, I encourage you to press the icon to arrange for an appointment, a complimentary introductory appointment with me to determine if there's a fit between the services I provide and your particular situation. If you like the video, uh, please, please press the thumbs up and please don't hesitate to share it with, with a friend. For the most insightful information on wealth and risk management strategies for business owners, including dentists, dentists and doctors, I encourage you to subscribe to the Goldring Financial Leadership YouTube channel.